Right now on Tower Air TV, Jameson Nemford presents Show Me the Ponty. Uh, we were just really funny. You didn't, yeah, didn't, you didn't catch it. it. So, didn't if catch we're it. not it's funny, it's only just recording there. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome. My job is to warm you up. I should have brought a pro. That's fine. I, I'm, I think the mic's gone off. Well, that's it's a great start. Oh no, it's back. It's like a suit and spot. I can. Hello? Hi. Turn around again. That's, I'll start again. I'm going to do a quick impression to start off. I, it has gone off, hasn't it? Has the mic gone off? Yeah. yeah. You don't need it. No. I don't need it. No, I don't need it. I will not be beaten by a microphone. Hello? Are we right? Is that not working? Is it not working? Hello, is that working now? Yeah. That's what it was, Steph. That's what it was. That's what it was. That's what it was. Yes, it's working. I couldn't find my shoes, so I've been barefoot. Oh, oh yeah, there's a worse one coming, I promise you. I got bit by David Jason, and the doctor said they had a touch of frostbite. So, no, no, no. I, I should probably um, a tiny bit about myself. I'm doing Edinburgh this year. Um, I've been doing comedy about three years. Uh, when I first started comedy, uh, it took me a while to find my feet. Uh, I turned out they're in my boots, so uh, that was uh, that was there, apparently. Yeah, so, uh, yeah. No, yeah, it's good to be here in Ponty. I just my only qualm, right? I don't know how to go. Could you say you say uh, you know you're from Ponty, wouldn't you? You'd say that here. Yeah. yeah. But I'm also from Ponty. Point to breathe, right? And I guess really all good because I get people confusing them when they come to the to Point to breathe, and they open them to be in Point to Dowie. And I get people coming up to me going, Oh, yeah, sorry, where's the, where's the art center then? I'm like, Art center? <laughs> Do you know where you are? <laughs> I mean, Art Centre, I don't know where Art Centre, I know Dirty Mike is doing a karaoke night. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't mind being single at first, right? Because like my last relationship was really serious. We lived together, we had a cat. <laughs> then we broke up, I had a cat. <laughs> no, 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 that's got a cat. <laughs> that's what I just moved into, I just moved back in with my mother, right? It's had an unforeseen consequence, right? Because my, uh... But it's had an unforeseen consequence, right? Because my girlfriend, right? She started using code in the bedroom. For instance, uh, she started calling condoms a CD condom. She doesn't want my mum to know what we're getting up to. Now that's fine. Except that she didn't tell me. <laughs> so we're there getting a little bit rambunctious. She looks up at me, she goes, CD. What? <laughs> What do you want to listen to? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm the baby, so uh... <laughs> Not really, I'm the baby. I, I... <laughs> Is this your boyfriend here? Are you together? Yeah. I can, I, I, I'm really good with body language, okay? And I, I can tell you. Yeah. What's your name, sir? John. John, I'm going to tell you, John, now. I can, I can tell, okay? Just by looking at the two of you and her body language. I can tell that she really wants you. <laughs> to leave her alone. <laughs> Okay, okay, man, give me five. <laughs> five reasons I shouldn't steal your girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> the good thing is beautiful. I grew up here, I grew up in Ponte Dowie, and uh, I, do, I do love being around uh, you know, every, everybody that uh, I grew up with and enjoyed. You know, in school it was difficult. You know, we had uh, you know, a, few, a few racist people in school who used to tackle the things all the time. Uh, but it was never as worse than in Newport. I used to get recognized, you know, before I was famous. Um, <laughs> before, before I, was, I used to get recognized in Newport for all kinds of things. People would say to me, Oh, is you... Is you Orlando Bloom? <laughs> I used to say, No. What would Orlando Bloom be doing in a chip shop in Newport? Right? <laughs> That's not going to happen, is it? He's played Legolas in Lord of the Rings. He's hardly going to be playing Legolas in Land of the Sheep right now. <laughs> Especially, yeah, like, we're funny like up there on the stage, and then the rest of the time, just, just quite dour, actually. 
it's really depressing people it's yeah. Yeah. this is what you're getting to see now then yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But, uh, nice. but amongst all that like, what's happening is on that camera we're, 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 we've dissolved out oh, oh, right, yeah, we, okay. we've, we've dissolved out and, and, and there's been little clips of your comedy show oh has like, there good yeah. you've seen us be funny then that's alright then we'll, we'll put it in later anyway. okay. oh, right, okay. this yeah. is bringing the memories of ITV flooding back to me actually this yeah. is uh, were yeah. they this low budget? Were you on really? ITV? <laughs> I, unfortunately, yeah, yeah. Uh, nobody watches that, don't worry. About that's okay, uh, that's fine. No, I don't. <laughs> no, no, it's, it's no, tonight what we did was a... Uh, a I haven't a introduced you yet. Anyway, I'm Jamie and I'm sitting here with two comedians. There we are, now it's properly started. Uh, well, action. Yeah. Do we have and, names? Uh, we're or? in the Jubilee Club in Pontedewi and uh, yes, uh, you do have names. You can introduce yourselves though. Well, let's get like David Evans. My name's Ignacio Lopez. Because we're not ITV, we're, not, we're so low budget that we get you to introduce yourself. Yourself, yeah, yeah, he's there, he yeah. can do it. <laughs> <laughs> why? Why? No, I, don't, I don't know why. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. I'm expecting that of... We've only had one pint, honest. But, uh, yeah, uh, I've just had more than that, <laughs> a lot more. Um, <laughs> this is what happens when you try and interview comedians, ladies and gentlemen. This is, this is what this happens is, when you try to it, interview it, comedians an hour after the gig. <laughs> Now what's, it, what's, what's basically happened tonight, we were previewing the show that we're taking up to Edinburgh with us. Uh, we're going up to Edinburgh, four, four Welsh comedians, I mean I'm half Welsh, I, I qualify. And we're going up uh, to basically show the Scottish people how it's done, you know, how the comedy business should be, be run and work. Uh, it's a lot of fun, we're, we're testing, road testing material in Wales before we go up and use it, uh, you know, on stage in Edinburgh, which is the, big, the comedy mecca, the, uh, the venue that everybody goes to, to find out really if you've got... If you've got what it takes to be a stand-up comedian for the rest of your life. So. And, uh, when did you get into comedy? Um, it was actually strange. I, I got into comedy through... I used to play music. I used to play music in a group and, and solo music. And I was playing acoustic nights at the end of, uh, of comedy performances in Swansea, which is where I live. My mother is, is Welsh and I grew up here. And I, I, used to, I used to play at the end of these nights. And my friend said, oh, we'll come watch you. We'll come watch you if you do comedy. So I, I don't do comedy, I do music and stuff like that. Well, it's a comedy night, you do comedy. I, so I asked the promoter and he, he said no. I was like, okay, fine. I told like, him, Good start. So yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, the promoter, yeah, yeah. He, Can he I do said, it? No. <laughs> exactly, straight off the bat, no, no way. He said, musicians shouldn't do comedy, it doesn't work. And uh, I was like, okay. So I went up and I did my usual stuff. I was playing music and my friend showed up, uh, about uh, 15, 20 of them from the place I worked. And uh, they all had money with them. And the promoter just saw dollar signs in his eyes quite stereotypically and went, yep, he's doing comedy tonight, yeah, yeah, come on in. And he walked up to me and went, uh, you can do some comedy after you play a couple of songs. So, <laughs> so I had to go up and, uh, and I was in the middle of doing a song and I thought I just put the guitar down and I just started talking about work and laughing about that. And the, the rest is history, you know, it just works. It's just, I, I enjoy it and I've um, been writing material ever since based on my crazy upbringing, you know, the half Spanish, half Welsh thing. It's, it's a good outlook, it's, it's unique. I think you have to find that unique aspect of, uh, of yourself and and Geraint over here has it because uh so, uh, hello Geraint, welcome back. Hello. <laughs> am I am yeah, I in this? Oh, yeah. oh yes. hi. No, oh yeah, good. Oh uh, so what's the question? What? How oh, same question. Same yeah, question. Yeah. How, yeah, do, how, how did you get into comedy? Uh, basically, I met this guy on a bus. Um, I used to <laughs> I used to go to school with this guy. And we we bumped into each other on a bus, uh, and I was like, hey man, how you how you, what are you doing these days? And he's like, oh, I just, I just started doing comedy, and I was like, oh, that's that's really cool. Yeah, I'd, I've always thought about doing that. And, and he said, uh, he said, well, do you want a gig? And I thought, well, yeah, m I might as well have a gig. Yeah, wh when? And he said Wednesday, and I went, f but I, I did it. So, uh, yeah. So, so I've been doing that ever since, basically. Uh, it's all because of him. Ever it's all because of him. Wednesday. Ever since Wednesday. <laughs> Three days Three ago. Days um, <laughs> no, it's been a few months. It's yeah. been about eight months that I've been going. Uh, so I'm, I'm quite young for Edinburgh, aren't I? I'm, 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 a, I'm a year, isn't it? You started the, the, the like basically exactly the anniversary of my gig. He, he kicked it off with, you know, eight. So uh, a year in, he's, he's a year behind me. Yeah. And, and uh, unfortunately, uh, He's not a year unfunnier than I am, so it's, uh, it's it's frustrating for me to have spent all that time and he's just walked onto the scene and just, you know, just blasted. Just being it. funny. Yeah. What's uh, they call it? When, what's the what's the word? Um, is it blasted? Uh, blasted. I, I've, I, I burst. It. Yeah, I did. What, yeah. I did. I had a well, good gig tonight. tonight. I think. Actually, no, it was really good. I think probably tonight might be my best gig. I think I really really enjoyed tonight. Um, the crowd were lovely, and I, I think I did well. I, I don't think, think I've ever heard you use the word. So often, no, actually, so we I can beat that out. Use it too often I started. Now, yeah, that's more work for me after. Yeah. Oh, I started <laughs> amongst fire and brimstone. Eh? I think I must have said the word f about forty times within the first two minutes, uh, but it tapered off after that. 
Um, I'm trying to do this alongside you know, my, my other life. As, I've got as, you, yeah. You know, and, and I'm having to edit this afterwards. No, he's going to edit this. I've, I've, I've basically, I've said the F word quite a lot. Uh, and this is a family show. Anybody is this a family show? This? Oh, I didn't realise. Nobody is watching it, but, but they could be. Yeah, I just thought it was on the internet for less, I just thought it was for your benefit, to be honest. Aren't I still like the. But mine and. and aren't I still something for Tower? Aren't yeah, I, yeah. I'm the, like the fundraising officer for Tower. I should you're probably on, raise you're some on funds. This podcast, funnily enough. Yeah. To talk back to that. I, that's back when I used to run the Guacho. Yeah. Yes, yes. But, but saying that, that's not really an achievement because about 50 people have run the Guacho. The last six months. It's good so, to be part um, of roll call though, it's a part of Fontenay Heritage, as is the well, yeah, club, so exactly, which we're yeah. in now. So, uh, but what would you say about uh, how important it is to have this event here then? Uh, well, for, start, for the both of us, this has been well, the hometown. Yeah, 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 yeah. like, I mean, I haven't performed in Pontarelli before, and uh, and Geraint has a few hours before this gig, actually. So that's, yeah, uh, yeah. This is my second but gig in Pontarelli. My first one started at about 8 o'clock. <laughs> <laughs> my second one started about yeah. 10. So, uh, but it was nice. It, it was important for us to do it here, because a lot of people that I've grown up with um, <coughs> in my family hadn't seen me do stand-up comedy. And just before I embark on something... As big as Edinburgh, which is a big part of any com- comedian's career, I think. Uh, to it's, it's basically the moment I think you decide, I want to do stand-up comedy, I need to go do Edinburgh. It was just the first time round. So we're taking a, a group of us, four comedians up, Welsh comedians. But this was, the, for the two of us, for Garen and I, this is the hometown gig, oh, which yeah. we had yet to do. And uh, to, to the people that uh, grew up with us and didn't believe <laughs> that we were stand-up comedians. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And but then but they all showed them. We tonight. showed them tonight. They, uh, yeah. really... Yeah, it's really happened to, but tonight. I think we did. Everybody did well. Do you know, we're so yeah, and it's a beautiful venue as well. Actually, I was I wasn't even. I've lived here for most of my life, and I wasn't even aware that there was this uh, function room in the Jubilee. So, you know, to walk in here. Recently, so yeah. same, same sort of thing. Yeah, yeah about three well, hours ago. Uh, yeah. <laughs> surprising amount in Ponta actually. Yeah. I mean. And in the Swansea Valley as well, trying to cover the whole Swansea Valley. <laughs> oh well, no, yeah, there's 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 loads about the place. Uh, yeah. Hopefully, I think when we come back from our triumphant tour of Edinburgh. Uh, I say tour, we're in one venue. Um, <laughs> you are. Uh, oh, oh, oh. I'll hopefully be in more, but he's all no like rivalry, snide. No, um, <laughs> no, we love each other. We love each other. We love each other. Um, yeah, hopefully when we come back. That on film. That's, 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 we'll I really? leave that for the private. So. Unless uh, there's outtakes on, on Tower Plus <laughs> One, Tower Air Extra, where... where where our other hosts... Where you're allowed to swear. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll never watch this. Because uh, if I do, I'll crawl into a pit of shame. Um, I'm, going to put it, I'm going to put this video on uh, on my Mac and I'm going to uh, superimpose ITV1 at the bottom of it and just no, pretend no, no. I'm still on the show. I'm just gonna, uh, I, was on, I was on ITV. It was... Uh, the show was fun to do, uh, but in the hindsight, it, was, it could possibly be detrimental to my career. It was... Uh, it was not the greatest two gigs I did, and it looked even worse on television. So it's a shame because it's one of the few bad gigs I've done, and uh, and it's televised, edited, and cut up, and looked pretty strange. So, but yeah, the, the main the main goal of this is we, we're taking a show. It's called Escape from the Land of the Sheep. I got, I got, I'll do a professional VT. Yeah. And, 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 and yeah, it's called Escape from the Land of the Sheep. Uh, we'll be in Edinburgh. We'll be in the Three Sisters uh, in the a room with a view. In the room with a view, yes. A room with a view um, from ten o'clock at night till eleven o'clock at night, every night at the Free Fringe. So that's from the fourth to the twenty eighth. Correct. Yeah, it's it's one hour of hilarity every day for a month. It's every day, hilarious Welsh people. That's what you're getting. I I, I, I just like to I'm say good luck to the, Jamie uh, in editing this. Yeah, yeah. Um, and just for the hell of it. Well, <laughs> he's, he's done now, isn't he? He's, he's done. He, he's got to cut that bit out, or just put a little bleep in. So I did the first one of these, right, where it was just audio. There was no video. Oh no! <laughs> Back in those to, days, I've when got we to, were young, I've yeah. got to pack my shit up now. I've got to go. Actually, so it's uh, let's. You just said. Shit. I know, I, on purpose. Um, <laughs> say shit, man. I'm such a. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> None of this. We might as well go now because that's like, just. This is like on Jerry Springer where the, uh, just a continuous string of swear words comes in. You can't, you can't even hear anybody. <laughs> you can't even hear the voiceover man anymore. Cause it's anyway, just rapid yeah. Morse code. we've just sworn a lot. We've talked about Escape from the Land of the Sheep, which is in Three Sisters in Edinburgh, Room with a View, 10 o'clock till 11 o'clock yeah, every uh, night. Um, bar, uh, lovely, bouncing, uh, cool. We'll see you all soon. Dad's even doing a, 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 that sign. Yeah, exactly. Right. Wrap it up. Thank you. Yeah, good.